Okay, so <clears throat> this is going to be an, an extreme, fairly extreme detail, as opposed to just saying, oh, yes, you just put codices on the controller, license it, um, and now you have your, your familiar environment, and away you go, and, and life is, is easy. This is going to go through all the little detail steps necessary to get um, codices successfully installed, licensed, and running uh, on the PLC Next. So first, it does require the uh, SD flash memory card. So that's a, that's a really easy one. You just purchase it and put it into the controller. Uh, and that is, um, you, you really need to get the ones from Phoenix Contact to be sure of compatibility. Next, <clears throat> If your um, if your controller uh, firmware uh, is not what you want, and in our case we wanted the very latest, um, you will want to go onto the Phoenix Contact website and download the uh, the latest firmware file. And then installing it, uh, <clears throat> the the PLC Next controllers have a built-in web uh, service that um, allows you to communicate with the controller very easily. This was, we did nothing other than just point the browser to the IP address and, and log in with the um, password that was on the side of the uh, controller. It's, it's on the label. Then, Select the file to be done. You know, so that you want to do a firmware update. Select the file. It transfers. Uh, you lose communication, of course, while it's um, when it gets restarted. But then now you have the latest firmware, and so that's something you would want to do first before you get too far into other other parts of the program. Next is uh, you. You'll need the PLC next. Uh, code assist control library. Uh, so this, for this, we downloaded, you just go to the code assist store, download the, um, uh, the package. And once it's downloaded, going into your uh, code assist IDE, you'll want to go to the code assist installer under tools. That will take you to the installer, which will show you what's already installed. And then you can select the uh, install file um, button there, which will then let you browse to that file, the um, code assist control package that you've, uh, you've downloaded. Uh, open that, uh, do a little confirmation that yes, that's what you want to install. And it's also going to install some dependencies, the Edge, pack, Edge Gateway for Linux and the Control SL extension package. And that just happens automatically. But once you make the confirmation, uh, the installation process is very simple. Uh, it will download the packages, install them. And when complete, you go back into that same um, uh, installation um, where you show, where you shows you what is installed, and you'll see additions of two new additions, plus the um, the edge gateway, uh, which is in a was in a different spot, so I missed it on that on that screen share or snapshot.
at that point, uh, <clears throat> you can go using uh, the Codasys IDE. You can create a standard project, and you will, you'll see now you will see that there is a Codasys, Codasys control for PLC Next SL um, device is one of the options now that you have. So this this is um, easy. You select that, and there's your starting point where you have the the PLC Next device is there ready to go. But you're not finished yet. There's a little bit more that needs to be done. Now you want to select the device and go under Tools and update the PLC Next. This will open up the communications to the PLC Next where you can log in with your username and password. Um, let's see, I'm going a little bit too fast there. Let me hold a little hold on that, that slide for a bit. From here, you will install the packages, the runtime package for the, uh, the Codasys, and you will uh, start that runtime. And that gets you, that is what gets you, switches the PLC Next hardware from running the engineer package that uh, from Phoenix Contact to running the code assist uh, system instead. So now we are, we are connected with, um, as a Codasys, we're now connected to the to the PLC Next, which has Codasys running on it, but it's running in demo mode. Uh, so the next step is to license the uh, the software, and you'll want that license to be installed onto the PLC Next hardware. So you will select device uh, as the target as opposed to running on your laptop, you're gonna to want to put the license on the target device um, in a soft container. In our case, we didn't, didn't want the dongle, we wanted just to put it directly onto the controller. So it has its own soft container on the controller, which will open up this uh, license manager overview here, which has, uh, it shows one of the, um, we'd already installed the OPC UA server license when I was taking these screenshots. So that's why it already shows up in the soft container with a green check mark. Okay, this is licensed and available. But down at the bottom, you've got a, a select install licenses, which will then allow you to pass, select to the uh, device, where you're going to do the installation. And it wants to know, um, do you want to activate a license that's already on there, request a license, uh, or install one? In our case, it was we wanted to install the license, which we had already purchased and had, um, had received from Codasys. Uh, so you select the container, which is our soft container uh, on the controller. Put in the ticket ID, which is basically your license code. You know where it's going to go. You've got the container already selected. So then you continue. Just the, it should be a very simple process. The license is activation, activated now. And sure enough, there it is. Uh, it shows up in the uh, soft container on the PLC. So now you're your license is securely on, on the controller itself. At that point, um, adding IO was very easy. Uh, instead of adding the devices, which you can do manually, you can add a device and it will be now all the PLC Next IO hardware is, is, will be listed there. Uh, the simplest thing is to scan the controller. Uh, when this screenshot was done, we only had one uh, analog input card. 
uh, connected, but all of the control, all of the of the uh, I/O cards would show here if um, if we had had it all connected at that time. So the, once you've done that, your whole um, all your I/O is now configured, and you're um, you're at that point where you're ready to begin with the application side of it. Um, the application uh, that we uh, that we did for the university uh, for the for the lab, um, we're not going to go through that today. But this was getting to this point was um, was non-trivial, but it's. I mean, because we had not been down this path before with the PLC Next and Codasys, uh, it took a little bit of searching to find the path. But now that it's laid out, anyone else can follow that same path uh, very easily and get to this point uh, quickly where you have the system ready to start your, uh, uh, your programming. And so this, uh, besides this, this talk, we're also putting together some uh, guides, some how-tos that will be freely available. So anybody that would like to get them from us, um, I'm sure Phoenix Contact would be happy to share them also. Uh, and um, perhaps even Codasys, I, I, I don't know, but um, um, we're, all, we're all friends in this. And so I suspect, uh, Anyone who has them would be happy to share them.